Hey everyone, today we are diving into the world of structural engineering and discussing a crucial topic called punching shear. This could happen in reinforced concrete slabs and reinforced concrete foundations and food tanks. Imagine a concrete slab supported by columns. Punching shear happens when the load on the slab exceeds its capacity around these columns, leading to a potential failure. But fear not, in this video we will explore detailed methods to prevent punching shear and keep our structures safe and strong. Imagine you're designing a reinforced concrete slab supported by columns. One thing you need to watch out for is punching shear. It's like this. When the load on the slab is too much for it to handle, especially around the columns, it's like the slab gets punched by the weight, causing it to fail around those areas. To prevent this, engineers have some detailed tricks up their sleeves. Number one, increasing the column size. Think of it like giving the columns a strength boost by making them bigger or adding more reinforcement. This way they can handle more of the load without buckling under pressure. Number two, adding shear reinforcement. Picture putting some reinforcements like stirrups or shear studs around the columns. These reinforcements act like support beams helping the slab distribute the load more evenly and resist being punched. Number three, utilizing post-tensioning. Ever seen those cables pulling things together in concrete? That's what post-tensioning does. By pulling the slab tight with cables, it's like giving it a protective hug, making it tougher against punching shear. Number four, limiting span to depth ratio. Designing the slab with lower span to depth ratios reduces the unsupported span of the slab, making it more efficient in resisting punching shear. A low ratio results in a stiffer and stronger slab thereby reducing the risk of shear failure. You know how stretching a rubber band too far makes it easier to break? Same idea with slabs. By designing them with shorter spans relative to their depth, you're making sure they stay strong and less prone to punching shear. Number five, implementing specialized systems. Sometimes you need something special like flat plates with drop panels or other reinforcement systems designed specifically to handle punching shear. These systems reinforce the vulnerable areas and spread the load more effectively. Last but not least, ensuring proper design and detailing. Attention to detail in the design and detailing phase is crucial for preventing punching shear failure. Factors such as load distribution, concrete strength, reinforcement layout, and anchorage detailing must be carefully considered to ensure the structural integrity of the slab column system. By using these techniques, engineers can make sure that their concrete slabs can handle whatever punches come their way, keeping structures safe and sound. I hope you have found the content of the video helpful and informative. If you did so, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and following us on Instagram or LinkedIn. Thank you very much for watching.